theme of my sermon today is love yourself. Love God first, and God will teach you how to love yourself. The reason why many, many of you don't love yourself because you was a black sheep in your family. Your mother outcast you. Your father outcast you. You was cursed out by your mother and your father. You was disowned. You was rejected. And this is why you have a low self-esteem of yourself because many of you never had love growing up. You got verbal abuse. Many of you may have got raped. I sexually abused by a nasty pervert in your family. And this is why you don't love yourself. You might be obese. And you're suffering with a weight problem because you've been depressed. And every time you get depressed, you eat a lot. Every time you get depressed, many of you stop eating because you've been so depressed. So now you get at a rescue because you've been molested. I sexually abused and you're trying to get over the flashbacks of the past for when you were sexually molested. This is why you're suffering with obese. You're eating a lot because you don't love yourself. God wants you to love yourself. Love yourself. You're somebody special. Now loving yourself, God bless you. Loving yourself and loving your acts are two different things. Love yourself because you are God's creation. God created all of us. But don't love the wrong that you do. See, I love myself, hear me closely, but I don't love the wrong that I do. That's why God wants us to repent. Oh. Someone said, preach Holy Ghost. What do the word repent means? It means to stop and turn away from sin. Tell your wife, I'm sorry for beating you up. Honey, I'm sorry for cheating on you. Tell your husband, I'm sorry for starting fights with you and causing you to go to jail because you can't keep your mouth closed for starting arguments with your husband. Tell him I'm sorry for being a gold digger. Say, honey, I'm sorry, wife, for cheating on you. Can you forgive me? Then you forgive each other. Now you don't beat on your wife no more. You don't cheat on your husband no more. Repent means to stop and turn away. It means to make a change. Make it tell someone, make a change. Make a change. So love yourself, but don't love the wrong that you do. I love myself, but I don't love what I do wrong. I don't love what I think evil thoughts. God knows our thoughts. God knows what we think. God knows all things. God knows everything. He knows our heart. God knows my heart. I cannot hide from God. God knows everything that I do undercover. I can't hide from God. God knows my heart. That's why I want my heart to be right with God. Lord, forgive me for my sins. I don't want to go no hell. I have enough hell here on earth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! That's why the Bible declares in Jeremiah chapter number 17, verse 9, that the heart is desperately wicked. That's scary. Being wicked is bad enough. But the Bible says it's desperately wicked. You mean to tell me folks smiling in your face? They got a wicked heart. The devil can smile. The devil come as a wolf and she clothing. The devil come handsome. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. The devil come tall. The devil come handsome. He come with his six pack and big muscles. So you can marry the wrong man. Then after you get married, now you begin to discover you marry an abusive man. Cheating on you and beating on you because the devil come pretty. The devil come handsome. The Bible said Satan signed for himself as an angel of light. So be careful who you marry. The devil come tall. The devil come handsome. But he's a wolf and she clothing. So be careful who you marry. Just because that man can give you good sex, it does not mean he will give you respect. If a man loves you, he's going to respect you. Love and respect goes together. If a woman loves you, she's going to respect you. If you love each other, you're going to respect each other. Hallelujah. Now I'm just lusting after you. 
If a man loves you, if a woman loves you, they're going to respect you. You're going to respect each other. Same thing with Jesus. He said, you love me, keep my commandments. So the Bible said that the heart is desperately wicked. Lord, search my heart. Lord, forgive me for my sins. Lord, create me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me. It is a seafoam above all things. Who can know it? I, the Lord God, knows the heart. God knows our hearts. He knows everything that we do behind closed doors. God always sees the group sex that you're doing. God always sees the threesomes and the foursomes and the fivesomes that you're doing. God always sees the open marriages. Come on, come on. God always sees you cheating on your wife and cheating on your husband. The Bible says adultery. What's the sense of getting married and you're not going to be faithful? Marriage is about being faithful. Honey, we live in days, folk are there cheating, sharing their husband with their sister. Why would you want to share your husband with your sister? Why would you want to share your wife with your brother? Christians are not supposed to be having no open marriages. Come on, come on. The Bible said, be not conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be not conformed to the world. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and verse 2. Not going to be faithful. Don't get married. I never saw so much cheating like I see going on now. Come on, come on, come on. Preach Holy Ghost. Preach Holy Ghost. So love yourself, but don't love the wrong that you do. It's just, I love myself, but I don't love the wrong I do. I don't love what I do wrong. So I must say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. I repent for my sins. Because although God is love, but he doesn't love the sin. That's the purpose why Jesus came to earth. Yahshua, Yahshua HaMashiach. To pay the price on the tree, on the cross of Calvary, to shed his blood for you and me. So you don't need to take no LSD. Jesus can wash away our sins so we won't have to go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. I have enough hell here on earth. God don't want to see nobody go to hell because he loves us. He loves us, but he hates our wicked ways. That's what the Bible said in Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people who are called by my name, oh, Lordy, 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 oh, shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from your wicked ways. Stop the racism. God don't hate black skin, but God hates a black heart. Don't let love depart. Just like God don't hate white, but God hates spite and envy and strife. God does not hate Indian. So give God thanksgiving. Not just only on Thanksgiving. Give God, God, give God thanksgiving every day. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God does not hate Jamaican. God can save a Jamaican. Yes, he can. God can save the African. Yes, he can. God can save the Asian because God's grace is still amazing. It was amazing grace. <laughs> How sweet does sound that save, save, save a wretch like you and me. Once was lost, but now we found. You used to be blind. I feel the Holy Ghost, but now we see. Love yourself. Behave the wrong that you do. And say, Lord, I want to make a change. A drug addict came to Jesus on last week. A drug addict got saved. Says she's tired of being on drugs. And the Lord set her free from the drugs right here in the street. That's how much God loves you. God is concerned about you. He don't want to see you go to hell. The devil do. He come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Those of you who are beasts, love yourself. You're still beautiful. It's about the inner beauty. You're still beautiful. Love yourself. No, you may not look like Kerry Washington. You may not look like Denzel Washington, but you're still beautiful. Because if you got inner beauty, you are handsome. You are beautiful. No, you may not look like 
You may not be famous like Michael Jordan, but you're still beautiful. No, you may not be a Hollywood star, but you're still beautiful. Love yourself because you're God's creation. Jesus loves you. So what's wrong with loving you? Jesus said, love thy neighbor as thyself. Don't love the wrong that you do, but love you. See, other words, I love myself, but I don't love the wrong I do. It's a difference. Love yourself, but don't love the wrong that you do. Don't love the act that you do. Don't love the part where you're still, still selling drugs, beating on your wife, molesting your child. You're supposed to protect your child, not molest your child. That part is wrong. Come on, come on, come on. See, I'm going to make a change. I want this generational curse to be broken. I want to make a change in my life. Lord, I need help. God will help you if you got a problem with drugs. Say, Lord, I surrender. Lord, forgive me for my sins. I need your help. If you're bound by witchcraft and demon spirits, cry to God and say, Lord, help me. He will come to your aid. But you got to believe. You got to believe. It starts with a belief. Every time Jesus worked a miracle, he said, your faith has made you whole. Your faith has made you whole. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. The devil try to make you get discouraged by using your family against you. By using your supervisor against you. The devil been trying to discourage you. We all get discouraged at times. But keep the faith. Faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen, according to Hebrews chapter 11, verse one. Cause we serve in the God that we don't see with the natural eye because God is invisible. God bless you, praise the Lord. You praising God in the car. We're serving a God that we cannot see with the natural eye. That's why a lot of folk got a hard time believing there's a God. So how is God real? I don't see God. Well, I don't see the wind. <laughs> The wind is invisible, but I can feel the wind. We can see how the wind takes effect on the trees when the wind blows. We don't see the wind, but we know the wind is real because we feel the wind. That's how the Holy Ghost is. I don't see God, but I can feel his presence. Woo! Hallelujah! It starts with a belief. Say, Lord, if you're real, talk to me. God, if you're really real, show yourself to me. And I guarantee you God will talk to you because he loves you. You might have got molested. You might have got raped. And that's why you don't like yourself. I'm stopped by to tell you that Jesus loves you and God will teach you how to love yourself. Love yourself. You're somebody special. So I'm preaching why I've been on drugs. God can set you free from drugs. God can save a drug addict and get him out the attic and make him a preacher. You don't gotta take no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. Oh, I I'm going to say it again with somebody. You don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. God got a great plan for your life. You may not see it, but there's greatness in you. There's greatness in you. You're somebody special. The central body is a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. If you got a problem with smoking, God can deliver you from smoking. Now you can stop choking. Because cigarettes will cause you to have lung cancer. Cigarettes will give you a heart attack. That wonderful body that God has given you is not for cigarettes. That beautiful body that God has given you is not for drugs. That wonderful body that God has given you belongs to God. Love yourself. Love yourself. You're somebody special. It don't matter what color you are. He loves you. Learn how to love you. You don't gotta compete with nobody. Learn how to love yourself. You're somebody special. The reason why you don't love yourself because you was a black sheep in your family and your family had this on you and that's why you have a low self-esteem in yourself. But I hear the Lord say, ha, the devil may put an X on you, but God put a check on you. Woo! Oh, hallelujah. The devil said you was a zero, but the God we serve is a hero. Woo! And he will raise you up. He'll pick you up and turn you around and plant your feet on higher ground. Love yourself. Jesus loves you, love you. You may not be tall and handsome, but you're still handsome because you got the inner beauty. <laughs> no, you may not 
have long hair and got a nice body, but you're still beautiful because you got the inner beauty. You got Jesus. That's what makes you beautiful. You don't got to wear a mini skirt. I dress half naked to get a man. Let a man love you for yourself. Amen. Amen. When God give you a man, he first loved Jesus. Now he know how to love you. When God give you a wife, she ain't no knight. She know how to love Jesus. Now she'll love you. Now you can love God together. And the mavics who pray together will stay together. Now the devil cannot send domestic violence in your house. Why? Because God is older, my high Satan. I feel the presence of the Lord right now. The devil cannot divide your marriage because God is ahead of your marriage. Huh? Because you're praying together. Huh? Now the demons cannot mess up your marriage because even though you love each other, huh? but you love God and more than you love each other. Woo! Hallelujah! And no one don't love you. Jesus loves you. Learn how to love you. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm too blessed to be stressed. Repeat after me. Say, I'm too blessed to be stressed. I'm too anointed to be disappointed. You got to encourage yourself. David said, I encourage myself in the Lord. Many of you are getting suicidal thoughts. The devil is telling somebody to kill themselves. Don't kill yourself. Love yourself. Tell someone, love yourself. I love myself, but I don't love the wrong I do. So, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Love yourself. Don't kill yourself. Repeat after me. Love yourself, but don't kill yourself. Don't commit no suicide. You may think all hope is gone. Somebody wants to give up, but don't give up. You don't need no dope. God is a great hope. When you got the Holy Ghost, when Jesus come on the inside, depression got to go. Woo! Hallelujah! When Jesus come on the inside, he'll give you joy. 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 He'll give you joy. Hallelujah. We've been making do it for the night, but joy will come in the morning time. He'll give you a joy huh, that drugs cannot give you. Huh. He'll give you a joy huh, that crack cocaine cannot give you. Huh. That's the joy of the Lord. Praise him in the morning. Huh. Praise him in the afternoon. Huh. Praise the Lord at night. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. When the praises go up, the blessings will come down. Oh, I feel Jesus. Somebody begin suicidal thoughts. And the devil tell you to shoot yourself. Tell the devil, go back to hell. I will not be depressed. You got to talk back to the demons of depression. Talk back to it. The devil told me to jump off the roof when I was 13 years old back in the Bronx. I heard a voice told me that. You know why I told the devil, you jump off the roof. <laughs> you got to talk back to the devil. You got power, honey. Tell us why I got power. Because greater is he that's within you than he that is in the world. This is the hour for God's power, and God's power will never grow sour. Talk back to the demons of depression. Don't let depression make you kill yourself. Hallelujah. Tell depression, go back to hell. I'm too blessed to be stressed. That demon left me alone. I should hear voices growing up. They had to lock me up somewhere in an institution around 14 years old. Because the devil was tormenting my mind so much. The devil tried to kill me since I was a little baby. I had to be a warrior. Actually, I made myself to a psychiatric war because I was hearing voices since I was a child telling me to kill myself, having nightmares, hearing bad voices until God gave me power over the devil. So I told that demon of depression, leave me alone. I'm going to stand upon God's word. Don't kill yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Many of you are on drugs because you don't love yourself. You don't know who your father is. No wonder you've been depressed. Your own mother cursed you out. No wonder you've been depressed. But I'm stop by to tell you that God will give you rest. Love yourself. You are somebody special to God. We're going to say a prayer of faith. We thank God for the presence of the Lord that's here today. Somebody wants to take a drug overdose, don't do it. God got a great plan for your life. Love yourself. You're somebody special, but don't love the wrong that you do. Just say, Lord, I want to make a change. Lord, I need your help. I got a weakness. God will make your weaknesses strength because we're all going through a struggle. 
We all got struggles that we're going through in our lives, but give it to Jesus. Ah, hallelujah. Oh, we give it to you, Jesus, today. Just repent and be baptized, every one of you. I see the Holy Ghost. God is setting somebody free right now. God is touching you right now, brother. I feel God in the place. And be baptized. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remissions of sins. And he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You shall receive power. And great says he. That's within you. Than he that is in the world. Ah, hallelujah. You're coming on top. Come on, tell somebody. You're coming on top. I'm coming on top because thanks be to God which gives me the victory. Ha. To my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. Y'all coming on top. God bless y'all this morning. You coming on top. You shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not beneath. Hallelujah. When you're living a holy life, God said, don't worry. Be happy. Woo! Keep your joy. God bless your sister. There's two angels around you. Goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. I know we're facing a government shutdown. But God said, don't worry. God ain't going to let you be shut out. Woo! <laughs> and maybe, amen, my sisters and brothers. It may be a government shutdown. But God said, don't worry. God ain't going to let you get shut out. God know how to take care of his own. Oh, praise the Lord. When you got no food in the refrigerator, God is better than a smooth operator. He'll supply your every need. When you got no money in the bank, David said, I once was young. And now I know, but I never, 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 never seen the righteous. Ain't that right? Forsaken, now I receive begging for bread. So I say, don't worry. Let's say it like we mean it. Don't worry. Say, I love myself because Jesus loves me. Say, I, yes, I made mistakes, but Jesus forgave me. And make sure when God forgive you, forgive yourself. They ain't got no heaven or hell. To put you in. Right. Oh, only God is a judge. Right. And he said, I love you. <laughs> With everlasting love. Hallelujah. I don't care what witch or warlock. What witchcraft against you. No weapon. <laughs> if there's no weapon. <laughs> that's formed against you. That's all day. Look at that. Talking about Jesus. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. God is with all of you all today. God bless you, brother. I'm happy to see you, brother. I see greatness in you. God going to use that young man in a mighty way. Somebody say, no weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. I don't care what why I need to work against you. It ain't going to work. That's why your enemies are going down for messing with you. Because <laughs> when they mess with you, God going to mess with them. Because God don't like ugly. Woo! Tell us when God don't like ugly. Someone say, thank you, Jesus. So it, and thou shall not kill. All day. Let's have a prayer before we go. Let's clap our hands for Jesus Christ. Let's give God the praise. Somebody say, hallelujah. It's so beautiful how y'all yes, came together today. Yes, it is. In the name of it Jesus. is so wonderful. Good this made my heart you. feel so good. Because the Lord knows you need encouragement today. Amen. Because many of you are going through stuff in your household yes, and your home me, and with your finances. And they're lying Amen. on you. And they're trying to set you up because they're jealous of you. Amen. Even folk in your own home and folk in your own neighborhood. They got gang stalkers in the neighborhood. Jesus. Folk are envious of you. But God said, I sent my angels to watch Amen. over you. Every chain is being broken Amen. right now Amen. in the name of Jesus. These are God's people. Say that I command you to loose God's people in the name of Jesus. Take your hands off of God's people. These are God's children. Woo! They belong to God and your name is written in the Lion's Book of Life. There's those who got molested and raped and sexually abused God by nasty perverts in the family. It's not your fault that you got raped, so don't blame yourself. It's not your fault that you got molested, so don't blame yourself. 
Don't feel dirty. That was out of your control. Jesus loves you. He said, I come to heal your broken heart from the flashbacks that you went through in the past with your family. Didn't have a father growing up. Some of you didn't have a mother growing up. But God said, I'll be a mother huh, to the motherless. Huh? I'll be a father huh, to the fatherless. Huh? Can't nobody huh, love you like Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, can't nobody. Do me like Jesus. Can't nobody love me like Jesus. So I say, Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, God bless you. God bless you, daughter. You're God's daughter. You're God's daughter. You are precious in God's eyes. God bless you, young man. God bless you. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. But when the devil is mad, that means God is glad. That means you're doing something right. Keep up the great work that you're doing for God. Your warriors for God. Y'all too anointed. God bless you, young man. His wife got the wheelchair right here in Irvington. Got the wheelchair. Now she's walking. I'm going to be starting the church and trying to rip that place up there to have indoor services. And we're going to have some Holy Ghost service. Thank God for y'all today. Right there. Oh, right there. I would love to. God bless you. You anoint. You anoint him. How you know me? Oh, I, I know you in the spirit. There's a prophetic anointing upon when your life. Prophetic. When? I'm gonna try to start a church right there. When? Uh, at least around December. Okay. So right there. Jesus that's right. You have a you have a prophetic anointing upon you. Prophetic. You can see things in the spirit. Yeah. All right, right. That's the gift you always had since a little girl. Yeah. You get that? Lord is showing me. And God gonna give you a woman's ministry to talk to a lot of young ladies who've been abused, who've been molested, who've been raped. Because I was at 37, 38. Yeah. You didn't tell me that, right? The Lord always showed me. That's why I was on the subject. Because Lord always showed me what you went through. The Lord always. The Lord showed me that you got molested. That's why I was on the. You didn't tell me that, right? That's why I was on the subject about molestation. Because Lord always showed me what you've been through. Yeah, the devil tried to destroy you since you was a girl. Because the devil already is Satan is afraid of you. But Ula Mahaya, because you know you are destined for greatness. It's not your fault that you got molested. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. It's not your fault. And don't blame yourself. And you're not dirty. God is gonna heal you from the flashbacks of the past for you were sexually abused. He's doing it right now. Shh. Yeah, the Lord is showing me what you was going through. That's why I was on the subject. Because she got molested. See, that's the devil trying to kill you. But well, you're still here. In your own house. Oh my God. And it ran in the family, but that's a generational curse. That's Ulamah that's being broken right now. The curse is broken. Devil, you will not destroy these women of God. The curse is broken. No more molestation. No more. And God is healing you from the flashbacks of the past. The Lord was showing me what you was going through. That's why I'm praying that way. The Lord showed me things in the spirit. So that's how he let me see people's passes. He showed it to me. And God is healing you from the flashback of the past. 